In this video, I want to look at this formula and see whether we can use it to find the exact value of sum trig ratio. So these are called the formulas of sums, which say sine c plus sine d is equal to 2 sine c plus d over 2 times cos c minus d over 2. So let's first uh, quickly prove 30, 60, and 30, 60, and 45. Okay. So this is a right angle triangle. This is a right angle triangle. And uh, if this is uh, 30 degrees, this is going to be 60 degrees. So this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And we know that if this side, if the opposite of 60 is 1, the hypotenuse is going to be 2. Why? Because we know sine 30. Sine 30 on the calculator will give you a neat number, which is 0 0.5, which is half. So that means if the opposite is 1, the hypotenuse has to be 2. Now using Soka Toa, say this is, say let's say this is x. Can I say x squared is equal to 2 squared minus 1 squared? which is 3, so x is square root of 3, x is square root of 3, so this x is square root of 3. So from this triangle, 60, uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle, I can say sine, sine 60, sine 60, we already know sine 30 is half, so sine 60 is opposite of a hypotenuse, which is root 3 over 2. Okay, you can find all trig ratios using this triangle for 30 and 60. Now let's draw for, I've done this in a previous video. I'm just going re, uh, going over this again. So if this is 45 degrees, this is also going to be 45 degrees. So if this is 1, so because if these two angles are equal, the adjacent sides or these two sides are going to be equal. So if this side is 1, if this is 1, this is also going to be 1. So let's say if this is x, I can say x squared is equal to 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2, which implies x is equal to root 2. So now we can say sine 45. Sine 45 is 1 over root 2. So this is root 2. So sine 45 is 1 over root 2. That's equal to cos 45. Okay. So now let's use <coughs> these values. Whether we can use this. Okay, so let me use a different color. So what if I write sine 60, sine 60 plus sine 30. Sine 60 plus sine 30 is equal to, so using the sums, I can say that is 2 sine uh, 60 plus 30, which is 90, divided by 2, which is 45, times cos uh, 60 minus 30 is 30, divided by 2 is 15. Okay, so we know now what is sine 30. Sine 30 is root 3 over 2 sine 30 is half is equal to 2 times sine okay I've done one sine we know sine so sine 45 is times 1 over root 2 times 1 over root 2 times cos, 40, cos 15 degrees or cos 15 so this simplifies to root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 2 divided by root 2 times cos 15. So if we want to cancel this 2 over root 2, I have to multiply by its opposite, okay, or by its reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 2 over root 2 is, we can use a different color, which is root 2 over 2. If you multiply this side by root 2 over 2, you have to also multiply this side by root 2 over 2. Okay, so what happens? 
uh, this and this gets cancelled and this and this gets cancelled. So what is remaining on the left hand side is cos. So I'll finish it off this like this. So this is root 2 times root 3 plus 1 divided by 4. 2 times 2 is going to be 4 is equal to cos 15. And now if you expand the left hand side, so I can say cos 15 to be exact, root 2 times root 3 is root 6 plus root 2 divided by 4. So this is the exact value of cos 15. So try to, I'll come back in a minute. So try to prove cos 15, sine 15 is root 6 minus root 2 divided by 4. Let's see if we can prove sine 15 uh, using these results and this formula of sums. Okay, so let's use the second formula. What does the second formula say? Okay, so we don't need to write this formula. So let me use a darker color. So this is what we're going to look. So in the first part, I use the first formula. So let's use this formula, sine C minus sine D. So well, what if I write sine 60? Sine 60 as C, take away sine 30. So just applying the formula would be 2 cos 60 plus 30 is 90 over 2 is 45 times sine 60 minus 30 divided by 2 is 15. Okay, so you have to just substitute the formula. So cos 60 is half. Sorry, so <coughs> sine 60 is not half, sorry, sine 60 is root 3 over 2. Yeah, so that is root 3 over 2. Take away 1 over 2 is equal to 2 times cos 45 is 1 over root 2 times sine 15. So it's now very simple. So this is root 3. Take away 1 divided by 2 is equal to 2 over root 2 sine 15. So as it did in the last part, you have to multiply by the reciprocal of 2 over root 2, which is root 2 over 2. So you do the same thing to this side, which is root 2 over 2. So this and this gets cancelled, this and this gets cancelled. Okay. So you're almost there. So I can now write so this, if you simplify this, this is root 6, take away root 2 over 4 is equal to sine 15. Okay, so try to think about different ways of getting the exact value of different uh, cos and sine. Okay, so think about whether you can use this to figure out something else.